For the very first time, the Premier Finals underway. And Dre, I have seen Belvedere play. They're very neat, they're very tidy, some very skillful footballers. Hearts will be obviously a bit more professional, a bit more organised. It could be an intriguing game. It should be an intriguing game. As I say, Hearts will start favourites, but Belvedere have done tremendously well to get here. They play some good football. And you never know, on the day, strange things can happen. As both sides are sort of trying to suss out any weaknesses. And uh, when you get into the final third, Logie, we've got to get better quality crosses or, or better shots. Otherwise, we're not going to have too many goals. Good work by Scott Weir, still on the ball. Looks to seek out the opening. He gets the ball across here to Connor Lennon, and he gets it in first time towards Swan. Swan with a header, it could drop in. Is it over the line? I think it is. Yes, the referee has given it. And Derek Swan can celebrate. He had a chance a moment ago. The harsh defence seemed to hesitate. They go to celebrate. They're one up. Well, have a look. It's just a little calculated ball Le lifted to the far post. He's found himself space, and he's guided it back over the top of the head of the goalkeeper and off the post. The keeper pulls it back from behind the line, and Bar Jack Tar Tarovi has made a mistake, I feel, here. Just a little bit slow to react. Good header, though, from Swan, and it looks as if it is behind the line, and the line's been spot on. Here's Thompson again. He gets it back, what? puts it across. An opportunity to the keeper. Well, he hesitated just for a second. Uh, Matthew Doherty was, was a teasing cross, but they had failed kindly for the keeper in the end. And here we go again out towards Swan. Begin to open up a wee bit. Swan in the clear. He's got support. He goes upset. He cuts in. He's confident. He has the shot. Oh, the keeper. It should have been two. What's the save that is Barjak Tarovi. He didn't make a mistake that time, Jerry. That was super. This is a wonderful strike from uh, Derek Swan. I tell you, it's dipping in the far corner. He stretches, fingertips. Magnificent save from Barjak Tarovi. Already here at the Korean showgrounds in the Milk Cup, Brazil. That's a ball goes through to Callum Elliott. The keeper seemed to hesitate. Elliott went down, he went down very easily. That was no penalty, Jerry. The ball still is there. There's an opportunity here, surely. Oh, he flashes it wide. Adrian Driver, the man drove it wide. He had the goal at his mercy. It looks as if it's going to be 1 1. This is no penalty, Jerry. Well, he does go down very easily. He gets the first touch there. The goalkeeper does bash, bash into him, Shane Roach. But here, when it sits up nicely for Ed, Andrew Driver, he's got to hit the target, Logie. If he hits the target, he scores. It's James Driver, he pushes it in, the big men are up there, the keeper goes up for it, he missed it! The header, it's in the back of the net, what an awful, dreadful mistake! What a mistake! And that was the number nine, Callum Elliott, the man who got the goals in the semi-final. It went right over the keeper, over the bar. It looked to be going the wrong way, what an awful mistake, Trey. Well, it's a quality delivery, though. The keeper at the near post makes a terrible blunder. It looks like it hits the crossbar, comes out to Callum at the far post, Callum at Elliott, and he heads it in. You see it better from this angle, Logie. As it comes in, on. does the keeper touch him under the bar, or does it just hit the bar? And it hits here. the bar, it falls kindly at the far post, and there he is. Does he know an awful lot about it? I'm not sure but it's an equalising goal. 1-1, one, one. strange goals in many ways, you know, really, they were soft enough. Uh, uh, yeah, they were soft, but I, I think that certainly for me, Belvedere played the better football in the first half. Well, there you are, Belvedere will win, they'll be disappointed, 1-1 one, one for so long in this first half. They were in control after 10 minutes, Derek Swan was the man who got the goal for them, and then that man, number nine, Callum Elliott, didn't know too much about it, but credit the, the striker, instinct took over, and he got his head to it, 1-1. One, one. It's half-time in the Premier game. The referee has checked with his assistants. The second half about to get underway. It's Belvedere won, a Hearts won in the Premier final. And it's Hearts who are playing into the sunshine. That's a beautiful stroke first day. Great opportunity, the number 10. He oh, finds it in the back of the net. What a start to the second half. Dennis McLaughlin, he went straight through the defence from the centre. I can't believe it, Jerry. From the kickoff straight through, look at this where was the defence. Never seen anything like this before. Unbelievable piece of play. From the centre, what, five seconds, six seconds later, he's on the end of it at the other end, and he hammers it in. That's a fantastic goal from Dennis McLaughlin. I've never seen a start to a game like that before, ever. Incredible. Shane Fitzgerald could have done better. He keeps it in play, that's great football. Gets it back again, Mooney with the snapshot. <laughs> Callum Elliott makes it 3-1 for Hearts. Well, the Belvedere defence appeared to go to sleep. The ball came in, Elliott, the man who's got two goals in the semi-final, does it again. He's a very powerful centre forward. 
beautiful ball across. Quite a finish, Jerry. He's quite a player. Fabulous cross from Andrew Driver. Left foot, whips it into the uh, six-yard box. That's a fantastic strike. Left foot volley. And I'd say for Belvedere, they've done very well, but they'll be disappointed because I'm sure they'll feel that they left their best game, certainly in the first half. Didn't really perform in the second half. 1-0 up and suddenly find themselves 2-1 down and they never recovered from that, Logie. And they've tried as hard as they could but haven't really got back into the game. But the referee has checked with his assistants. There is the final whistle. Belvedere will hold their heads in despair. Delight for Hearts. Hearts win the Premier Trophy here at the Milk Cup in the year 2004 on a scoreline of three goals to one. Well, we thought we had a chance. You know, We knew we were coming with a good side and we, we thought it would take a good side to beat us. So... We came with belief that we were going to do it, and we've done it, so obviously we've backed that up, yeah, we thought we could do it, yeah. So there you have it from uh, the Milk Cup 2004. It was uh, Brazil who actually lost out in the Elite. It was Turkey who won that 1-0. It's hard to win the Premiership. The game of the day had to be the junior final. Maccabee happy, fabulous. 5-1 winners against Everton, but overall, what a week it's been here at the Northern Ireland Milk Cup. So in the wall, he strikes it. Oh, he puts it in the back of the net. That's amazing. Playing into the sunshine, that's a beautiful stroke. First day, great opportunity. The number 10, he finds it in the back of the net. What a start to the second half!